The day after Bernie Madoff was sentenced to 150 years in prison for masterminding a multi-billion dollar fraud, there's word that 10 more people will face criminal charges in the case. A source tells the Associated Press that federal investigators are pursuing the charges. While some have suggested Madoff's wife and children had to know what he was up to, the source won't say who they're targeting or what charges they might face. This never should have happened. Had the SEC done their job with seven investigations, had the IRS done their job in 2004 by not approving Bernie Madoff to handle IRA accounts, I wouldn't be here talking to you today. So far, only Madoff and an accountant have faced charges. Victims of Madoff's investment scheme warn that there could be other Madoffs out there. Those who lost everything say the government must do more. If you think you are secure in your investments in the American security system, think again. The 71-year-old Madoff, who will likely die in prison, told his sons the swindle cost investors $50 billion. Unfortunately, tens of thousands of Madoff investors have been serving life sentences since last December. In essence, they don't even have room, money for room and board. They have to sell their homes, their possessions. It's very sad. Some of Madoff's victims say there's no way he could have orchestrated the massive fraud himself. And they say they continue to fight to get back on their feet. As a CPA, I can tell you that they, you can carry back theft losses five years. But for most Madoff victims, five years is not enough time. Madoff's victims say they will never get over what he did to them. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press. Ba ba ba. Here we go. So far, only Madoff and an accountant have faced. So far, only Madoff and an accountant have faced charges.